Hey guys, welcome back to the Crash Couch. The Crash Couch. That's what we're at. You got you got Brett here. Hi. Brett's over there. You got me here. I'm a video game expert, and Ted is here, uh, living out his childhood dream of playing a fourth Crash game on PlayStation One. That's right. Uh, Hello. Yeah, welcome. He's, he's here. Thanks uh, for watching. Ted loves the techno levels. So I that, love. If, you, if you're not, if you haven't joined us yet till now, I could have said that better. Uh, Ted, will you get me something for Christmas, please? Yep. Do you know if they make a dual sense controller like the one you're holding, but they it's in like the colors and the design of the original PlayStation? Mmm. They must. I, I really want that. I know that they did it for <gasps> PS4. Right. I don't know if they've done it for PS5. I think this is a layout from an ice level in the second game. I think this is a box layout. Whoa. Wow. I think so. I know this. <laughs> yeah, real talk. It's a PSX system. Uh, I did see that Sony, speaking of Christmas presents that I want that nobody will get me. Uh, I did see that Sony has put out a, like, Fancy Boy controller. Fancy Boy! Have you seen that? I've not seen it. It's, like, Fancy heavier. Boy. It's, like, heavy like a handgun. It's, like, heavy. Oh. What the fuck? And oh. it, it's made of, like, nicer components, and you can customize it. And, like, when you point it at people, like, it hurts them. Has extra buttons. It's got, like, a leather grip. Shoots, uh... X's, O's. Shoots, and shoots ammo. And, and square. Shoots both both ammo and energy rounds. Yo, Super Mario? So this isn't like space Whoa. anymore. You're just like on a planet from the original Star Trek. Man. Yo, this is mad vertigo. I don't like this. What do you mean? You don't like this? Is it making you like up? dizzy or something? Yo, Star Wars here. I feel like I'm moving when I'm not moving. You're definitely moving right now. No, I know now. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, you a, asshole. She's aloof, Brett. <laughs> Did you say G's aloof? G's aloof. Is that a thing? Are you speaking English? Is that is that like Midwest? I think so, probably, yeah. G's aloof. Is that, like a, duck, is that like a duck, duck, gray duck? <laughs> oh, nigga, he hit me with duck, duck, gray duck the other day. Duck, duck, gray duck. Talking about like it's how actually it's not, better. Yeah. And I'm like, there's in no way. I didn't say how it was better. I thought you did. One, I thought of one way it was better. It hit me. It's less of a tell when you're about to say duck, duck, gray duck. Then, it is then. just as much of Not a because tell. you say goose, right? But with duck, duck, gray duck, you say the whole thing, right? It's not just, you don't just say gray duck. You say duck, duck, gray duck, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. see what you're saying. Uh, right. It's not. Yeah. So for those of you at home. I know I'm being. No, obtuse. you're right. You're right. Yeah. No, I think you're right. Like, it, for those of you at home, Ted grew up playing the game, not duck, duck, goose. And then when whoever's got goose get up, gets up and run, it's duck, duck, it's not even duck, duck, gray duck. I mean, it is. It's duck, 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 gray duck. Yeah. No, no, no. It is duck, duck, gray duck. Sure. It's called duck, duck, gray duck. But, when, but you, like, when it's time to be goose, right? You don't start with gray duck. You start with duck, duck, gray duck, right? Right. Like, it's, it literally goes like this. Duck, 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 gray duck. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which is not how duck, duck, goose is. So, I guess what I'm saying is. Were you I aware that duck, duck, goose was not like that? Yes. Okay. I see. So I see what you're saying in that, like, it makes the game, like, when you... Mechanics-wise. Having, having to say Duck, Duck, Gray Duck does provide more of a mix-up yeah. for the listener, yeah. the sitter, if you will, yeah. in that they both start the exact same way. But the way I'm picturing, like, and I've never played it, so maybe I'm really wrong, but from the way that Ted is describing it and the way he's always said it, there's no way I would ever confuse a regular duck for a Duck, Duck, Gray Duck, because every time he says Duck, Duck, Gray Duck, it's always like, Duck, Duck, Gray Duck! Because he's trying to run. But maybe he's like, duck. 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 Yeah, be like, duck. 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 Can you go like, duck, wait, duck, wait. Gray duck, 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 Once again, the moment you say that sounds nothing like I wouldn't be mixed. Can, is you, my be, point. can you be like, duck, 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 gray duck? That's the only no. way to mix. So the Ted literally just said no, you no. can't. So, yeah, my, I, that was I, my experience. And now, now that I've we said it so many times, I, I have a question for other people in the Midwest. Maybe you know this answer, Ted. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Is it like an Englishization of what something else? Like duck, duck, gray duck sounds like 
the German way or something like that. So it sounds like you're asking, like, what is the etymology and the origins of Duck, Duck, Goose? Yes, and I'm, but I'm specifically guessing that the phrase Duck, Duck, Grey Duck sounds like Duck, Duck, Goose in another language, like phonetically. Mm -mm. This is cool. This is a cool gimmick. This little guy's cute as hell, first of all. Yeah. I love that he does a front flip when you get on him. He's giving you syphilis as we speak. I did mean, you, not on purpose. Uh, That's just what he is. Did you know that today, 10 times as many babies are born with syphilis as 10 years ago? Really? Born with it? Why? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know Wanna. anything else about it. That's what you get for reading headlines only. That's real. Let that be a lesson to you. God. Duck, duck, gray duck. Duck, duck, gray duck. <laughs> That's the part that's funny to me. It is kind of comical. Dr. Crater! Dr. Crater! Just sounds like Star Wars. Yeah. You ah, sound like Han Solo! Dr. Dr. Grey Doc. Wow. You sound like so someone took like audio Dan Aykroyd and sped it up. Me? No, like Dr. Grey Doc. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you sound like a conehead. What in the unholy crimson heck is that? I watched that movie recently. Evolution. I remember Evolution. It's almost Ghostbusters. It's basically Ghostbusters. Yeah, it's almost it's it's almost Ghostbusters. There. And it's also shot at Cal State Fullerton, which is very fun for me. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of DNA of Ghostbusters in that movie. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, there's literally like the writers and actors that made Ghostbusters. Like it's Ivan Reitman, I think, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And Duchovny was I would a great have definitely, casting oh, choice. Bad, bad idea. I would have definitely taken, like, if we were going to have, like, a four, if that had become a franchise. Yeah. If we were going to move forward, if our foursome was Duchovny. Orlando uh, Jones. Well, Sean William Scott. Orlando Jones and um, Julianne Moore. Yeah. I would have taken that. Sounds Julianne fun. Moore does not belong in that movie. She's better than that. I don't know what she's doing in there. I think you're forgetting that Julianne Moore does a lot of movies. She does. She does. Some of them even, great, some of them not even so Even then, great. even at that time, she was already the legendary Oscar-winning actress, Julianne Moore. So she's, a, she's done a lot of poo-poo in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, I think well. maybe I think I'm maybe underestimating how not rare comedies were back then. Hmm. Because real talk, like when was the last time you saw a comedy in theaters? When was the last time I've been to the theater spirit? Say this you, much. For you, I'm gonna guess. Uh, Ghostbusters? I think I rented out three theaters. You I told me saw, Jackass 4, which made me feel good about... Yeah. yeah. I, I, I saw Ghostbusters, I saw Jackass, and I think I saw that movie, that horror film, X. X? Oh. The porno one? Yes. It, it's like pretty recent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like maybe like a year and a half ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was it. But I'm thinking about renting out another theater again now, man. For what? Or Ghostbusters. Oh, well, I mean, that's no. not, that's not going to come out for a while. Do that, five Brad. months, six months, something like that. I'm that is just Starro, right? Like it's basically Starro. Like yeah. that's Starro. Damn. You know what's crazy is that everybody knows who Starro is now too. Why? What was he in? He was the villain in Suicide Squad. Oh yeah, he was. Oh. It was Thinker and yeah, yeah. Starro, which is like so funny to me that they had Thinker and Starro as villains in a movie. I have no idea when we got the blue gym, but hey, I guess we got it. Bye. So, oh shit, dude! Bye bye. Dude, oh, you live! I oh, live. You landed on the fucking platform. That Incredible. is unbelievable. So, Incredible. is this Avatar? Is that what we're? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was it Pandora? Pandora. Wait, the name of the planet was Pandora. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. Does Avatar or the first Borderlands oh, come first? Fuck. Uh, I it's think that be I think that Borderlands comes first. What year was that? I know that Avatar was 2009. Right. And I feel like Borderlands was 2007 or 8. Is that I, right? But I could be wrong. I could be wrong because I do remember playing Borderlands in my current apartment, which I've only been in for 13 years. Hmm. God, don't make me ever tell that I know, fact right? to anyone ever again. Is that a secret over there? It just looked like an enemy, but it was conspicuous. It's weird that it's like in a hole like that. This is tight. Like, this looks the slippy, fun. The slippy dippies. Bye. But they're all funneling you towards the next one. Yeah, I'm on, board for, I'm on board for the slippy dippies. Slippy dippies. How are you feeling, Ted? <sighs> uh, a little sad that I missed some boxes. Oh, man. Are you starting to feel overwhelmed about playing on camera yet? 
No, no. Does it, no. Is it different? Like, then, would you describe, please, how it is different playing a game on this show versus... Uh... Ooh. Oh. That was my bad. Versus playing by yourself. Hmm. Well, usually I just, when I when I want to play a game by myself, I'll just stream it anyway. So you rarely play a game by yourself nowadays? <sighs> a new game? Correct. Okay, so then can you compare what this is like for when you play like an old game or something? I don't know. Uh... I, hmm. Well, like, let me ask you this. Last time we did a show together, you and I, you kind of wanted to take a break for a little while. Yes. At least because you were like starting to feel sort of chained to the show, beholden to the show a little bit. Is that real? Yeah, for Returnal, I was like, I don't know. Um, yeah, what emotion me? were you feeling? I was kind of feeling like spinning my tires, if you will. I, I don't. Please explain. Like, I just, I kept... Because you were dying? Yeah, I, I was, I, I was feeling like I really wasn't progressing. And it, mm -hmm. it felt hopeless that I was gonna... You thought you were gonna be on a Let's Play forever because you were never gonna beat the game? Yeah, it was almost like... What's the word? When you're stuck in between realms. Limbo? Limbo, Limbo yeah. You huh. felt like you were in the Forever Returnal because it's a roguelike and it never really... <laughs> yeah, which I think the game wants you to feel like, 100%, in a sense. 100%. And I, I was just getting, I think, dread about that. Really? Yeah. You So you too feel the urge to make progress in the video game when you Let's Play it? Well, I think so, yeah. Because I really, well, I never feel that urge uh, when I'm playing a game by myself. Like if makes I'm sense, right? if I'm playing Cyberpunk and today's the day where I walk around and like do police missions and like sell all the guns that I get for money and that's all I do for f 4 hours, that that's fine with me. Makes sense. When I'm home, but when I'm here I feel guilty like I'm being selfish in some way, though we've never really defined what makes a good let's play as yeah. a whole. As a whole, right? There's not like the let's play awards, there's not like <laughs> some consensus about what a good let's play is or why anybody's here. So it's kind of interesting. I would imagine that the three of us alone in this room would have not wholly different, but certainly our own ideas about what we would want ideally out of a perfect quote unquote let's play show. I certainly, as the person who like is responsible for the show on a day to day basis, I do have like an idea of like what is good about when we're having a good show. But in terms of like, could I look at like another let's play and be like, what's what, how, how does this one stack up? I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm looking for to say whether like, for example, cause I just don't really watch them. Like what makes a good game grumps episode or not? I have no idea. Yeah. Neither do I. And, and, and I, you know, the point I was making is just that like, I bet all three of us are ideal version of this show would be very different. Oh, a hundred percent. It's kind of interesting to be like one of the few people doing something. Mm. At least in the way that we do it, right? I we don't kinda, know what I'm supposed to do I here. I think you can walk on those guys. Don't get hit. I think you can jump on them. Oh my god. Can I jump on them? I think that you can go on their backs because those, okay. those boxes are like at their backs. Yeah, okay. You in the zone, Ted? Yeah, yeah. I'm just kind of thinking about what we're talking about. <laughs> you trying to define your perfect let's play? It's like it, with this, I know, I know, I will make progress. The only, mm. the only I'm not thing stressed about it. The only mm. thing I really think is universal for me, mm. and this just I think has to do with anything where somebody's talking without hosting or prepping. Like, mm. you know, like we're. Like this feels like we're just having a conversation. Yeah, it's because we are. We are, but there is there is a little bit of heightenedness to it. There is like, I'm aware that I'm like, like, 
recording a show right now, right? Sure. I'm talking a little differently than I do in real life, like slightly. Sure. Mm, I think sure. we're closer by a lot than most people who do this job. I'll agree with that. But uh, I think the one universal constant for all like live hosting gigs like this is sort of like the fuck being at work and and being comfortable on stage and being okay. being fine even if you're in a bad mood like making it fine for the audience that being, you're that, being a professional it's it's not a, i mean i guess it's professional but for me it's more about your own thoughts of yourself like when you when like when you're having anxiety for example and this is something maybe you out there listening. Sorry, I wouldn't say that. I just couldn't help but think. When you're having anxiety. Sorry, that's it. When you wish that you weren't there. But I just mean like when you're when you're having it, right? And this might not be everyone's experience, but I sort of feel like. Uh, oh, I lost my fucking train of thought. That's okay. Shit. I was I got too excited about the Muppet Babies bit. That's my fault entirely. I apologize. You were talking about, I was saying being a professional. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. It's not even really about being a professional so much as it is about, like, making it okay for the audience that everything's happening that's happening. Like, 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 if there's two people on there, they need to be taking care of each other. They need to not be, like, it, it, it can't be, like, documentary footage. It has to be, it has to be, the, the, the audience has to be considered when the person's talking all the time. That's how I feel. It can't be selfish in any way. I, on paper, I agree with everything you just said. Yeah, and it's it's a sort of esoteric concept that I'm saying. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what you're saying, but you know, I'm like I agree with what you just said. But it's, it's like the audience it, should be considered. Like okay, like people say, oh, you shouldn't go on stage when you're having a bad day, right? But I actually don't think that's true. I think it's just that you can't go on stage and bring the bad day on stage with you in an un, in a way that's selfish. Like if you're feeling bad and you go on stage and you and you be, and you're like a sad guy but it's okay, that's different. I think that's the thing that makes a good let's play and I, I rarely think it has anything to do with making progress. Yeah, I don't think those two things are mutually exclusive. Like I think the truth of video games is that we play them over and over and that it doesn't matter what happens one time through. And I think that you know, audience or performer if you bring your anxiety in there and, and and have it not be okay, you're not going to have a good time. Yeah, I think that's a lot of people when it comes to video games. Like, ironically enough, that's what I was talking about. Oh, why are we always stick to one side and just like try and jump over him, brother? Uh, that's that's a that's a little toughy right there. I don't know what that's about, bro. Yeah, I was talking about it not, a, not that many episodes ago. Like, there's people out there that like, instead of, you know, enjoying this very fun video game, like when they turn on the console, it becomes like, well, back to the either I will... There's like a there's a 15% chance that I will be completely satisfied with my play today. There's an 85% chance that I'll walk away feeling like I am a worthless human being. Yeah. Like that shit is rough, bro. People who are by themselves in their house and they're like, well, I should be playing this, but I do want to play this. So I might do this and then do a little bit of this because I want to get it done. It's like, whoa. Well, spe well, specifically like, yeah, I was talking about people tying their self-worth to this. Whether you're you do a show on the Internet with it or not. Uh, that's not a good look. Yeah, like, think about it like listening to music more than doing anything, really. <laughs> like, that's how I feel. Nothing that happens in the game that you do actually matters anywhere besides in the game that you're playing. Yeah. And, I don't know, it's just art. It's just somebody made this for you to, like, do. It's not real. I don't know. I got my fucking salad tossed a few times in Street Fighter today. I don't give a shit. Yeah, it, it's it would be wild if you did. Maybe if you're like, man, I had a rough time on the thing, and you're like, you know, kind of just reflecting. But it shouldn't be the thing that makes it fun is how well you do. <clears throat> Can you not just like bold face like spin these dudes out? Like, are you like giving them like way too much respect? Yeah, you might be. I I could try. Like, just like spin right in their face. Possible. It's possible. I still want to put this in my mouth, whatever the shit is that you're sliding on. What would it taste like to you? Jelly. I, I think it tastes like uh what's that stuff? Uh that's like crack. On like a <laughs> on like a on like a um on like a beer. Crack bandicoot. 
uh, like if you're going to like a Mexican party, what's that stuff called? Chamoy. Uh, yeah. That's what I think it is. It's like that gummy, tasty, sticky. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. It's like gummy worm slime. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ted, yeah. Ted got a little too, a little too shamoyed out. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know that. Fuck this. You ain't got to tell me twice. I'll roll <laughs> some chili powder. Oh, yeah. I'll roll that shit. And some fucking tahine. You ever smoke a chamoy? <laughs> you ever smoke a chamoy? <laughs> God damn it. Good luck. You disrespectful. Oh, wow. I'm shocked. You wanted this to happen. I, I genuinely am shocked. Don't. I don't even understand how you were actually getting KOs before now. Uh, it, I, had a, I had a mask. You had a mask? Mask. Oh, mask. You had a Uka, mask? Uka. I, had a, I had a large mask. You had on a my, lump, you had a lump yeah. in your chest. Oh, no. And then the dinosaurs were like, hell no. I would rather die than deal with this. Too awkward. That's the only threat we have to worry about. Bingo. Dino cancer. <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. What the hell, man? I feel like I want to pretend to be the comments. While Ted is playing this game, but I just don't know what to say. Finally, Ted is on the show. They should let him fulfill his dream of being on Super Beard Bros. Let Ted run the show. Let me run the show. Run the show, Ted. Oh, God. I do feel a little pressure to try to wrap it up. Wrap it up. Oh, well, you didn't give a shit. Fuck. Oh, it's just the no, fucking... No, I was... I had more momentum than I thought I did. It's oh just God, fucking Uga. You're actually going for the fucking box, brother. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! It's closer. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Oh, my God. Ah! Oh, my God. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> they give me a break sometimes. Wow! Okay, that was my fault. I mean, all of this is my fault, but... Oh, I can't believe you went towards him. Wow! <laughs> I can't believe you. You're, you need... You're, look, Hold Ted on. took one hand off the controller. He's covering his eyes. He didn't pause. If you die from here on out, it is your fault, You need bro. to get a C, bro. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was also a little <laughs> Really scary. risky, yeah, man. Really risky. Yeah, scary. What is this? Oh, there it is. There it's it is. It's just a box. It's a box. What do you... Okay. It looked dark. I don't this? know. Good okay. luck. Okay, watch out for this hole. Good oh, luck. Oh, boy. Oh my god, I can't believe you did it. <sighs> nice job, okay. Ted. That's really weird that that message pops up. It's like it doesn't know that you've clearly already found the blueprint. Hey, found another, find hey. another one. Hey, found another one. Hey, found another hey, one. Hey, good job, buddy. He did it. Thank you. Uh, <sighs> Next time on Beard Bros, Ted's going to finish this level. I think you got to finish now, man, because we're done for the day after this. So. Oh, yeah, oh, man. we have to turn it off. I have pressure, so Ted, pressure. I have so many more boxes. Well, well, get them or don't, whatever. I think I already missed some, so it doesn't even matter now. Dude, Ted's yeah. so DF. Is that literally it? Oh, that's the bonus. Oh, oh no. No way, I, no way I can do the bonus. No way. Why can't you? We'll go for another half hour. Okay, then skip it. Yeah, easy. Whatever you want to do. Look how easy that was. All I'm saying is... You just gotta finish. This is a little bit danjo right here. I don't like this. This is danjo. I'm gonna check it out. Fuck yeah. Ted. Fuck yeah. Ted. Fuck what are yeah. you doing? I just wanna see it. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Never hide. I'm not Ray gonna Bans. do it. I just wanna see it. Ray Bans, never hide. I'm not gonna do it. He's already playing the level. He's doing it. He's playing he's done. He's done. Why are you it. lying? He's doing it. One try. He's done it. <laughs> that goalpost looks good there. Uh wouldn't it look better right here? <laughs> Oh, that's fun. Oh my god. Oh my god, the flames. Flames! Oh, that's useful. Flames! Uh, oh are those going to be god. taken care of with the nitro box at the end? They probably will be. Hello. Oh Have god. Oh god. I panicked. Careful. Oh, it's slimy. 
you deserve to die three yeah, times oh, there, bro. I can't God. believe you. God. <laughs> oh God, it's slimy. What is? Oh. Okay. 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 Why? Why? No. No. Mm. <laughs> well, you thought you could just stall forever? Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I did. I definitely did. Wee. Ted was like, bonus. Ted said, I think I broke the game. Like, I could just be forever. I could just, just hover forever. forever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, what's that? Is that a diamond? Where? Like a hidden gem? Yeah, what's in there? What? I think I think that's just plant, brother. Really? Yeah. Why is it glowing like that? You're on an alien world. All right. Oh, Ted okay. doesn't well, get it. Hey, I did not even right. have it. Hey, he's Ted got, doesn't. You, oh, it didn't. I never oh, knew I those guys were time. even a fucking threat. I see. I didn't realize the Starro's were a threat. It's Starro, bro. Starro's kind of just like a dude. He, what? He like, like, whenever you actually, like, when whenever Starro's actually in something, he's like Ultros. He just kind of like is like, hey, what's up? I'm Starro. I'm like Dude, a normal guy. It just looks like this. He was Justice League's first foe. Yeah, and like the fucking like George Washington days. <laughs> Starro's a bastard. These days, Starro's like, hey, you got any with that weed? And I'd be like, get the fuck out of here, Starro. Starro, Starro was a hero last time I read him. He was in the Justice League. <clears throat> and he sacrificed himself to save the world, and then they saved a piece of him and made him into a little star called Jaro. All right. Because he's in a jar. Oh, God. It's like Muppet Babies. I'm a star -o. When I'm the world is not in your parasite. control and nobody's under your thrall. <laughs> <laughs> Programming four staros. Who aren't feeling good about themselves. Oh, that's maybe hot. Hey, okay. you're good though. Okay. It is hot. It is hot. It is hot. Wait, how do you get that box up there? Oh, I should have jumped off the okay. I think you're fine. You still can if you yeah. want it. Really? It's well, a yeah, you it's upside the... downer, right? Yeah. Oh dur. He said, Really? What? What, what you mean? Peter Pan's got kids. <laughs> oh, maybe hiccup. Sorry. I'll never do it again. <laughs> Sorry. Yep, yep. Boosh. You just went to heaven. Boosh. Boosh. You got raptured. You know? Whoa, whoa! Pokemon! 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 Pokemon. My Poke god, it's Poke full of stars. Poketo monster. It's full of Pokemon! My god. It's full of Pokemon. I would pay... $150 to hear DeForest Kelly say, my god, it's full of Pokemon. Wait. That wasn't DeForest Kelly that said that, right? Isn't it? Is it? Is it Shatner? It's full of stars is from 2001. It's full of stars is from 2001? Yeah. Isn't it from Star Trek the movie? Am I messing up my references? Am I? I believe you are. You want me to look it up? No. Nah. This no. <laughs> no yeah, let's let's look it up. Uh, okay. How do I do this? Yeah, I thought it, it's full of stars. Uh, Why do I think it's from Vigur? Yeah, that's two thousand one. Oh, you thought it was from like Star Trek the motion picture? I thought it was from Vigur. Oh, come on. V Vigur? Yeah. Voyager? What is this? Yeah. Thought it was from Star Trek Voyager? No. Do you guys remember the plot of the first Star Trek movie? <laughs> no, I don't. Oh. So. Don't tell me. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> That's it. End no, I'm literally watching the original series right oh, now. Oh, you're going to watch it. I see. I see. Yeah. You have not seen it. If I have, I, don't, I doubt I've ever seen it. No? Have you seen uh, the one with the Nexus? Generations? Yeah. yeah. That's a weird one. Speaking of speaking of Kubrick, I guess. That's a, that's a, that's a A to C. So wait a minute. Kubrick definitely didn't direct that. No, nah, but Malcolm McDowell's in it. I don't know. Yeah, where are you coming? Are you okay, buddy? I don't look. I used to work at a video store. <laughs> you got you got Randy Brain from Scream? Yeah. What's the werewolf movie with E.T.'s mom? That's it. That's me. <laughs> I like eat things, and I'm like, this is Randall from Monsters, Inc. That does kind of look like Randall down there. You did it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Let's get wild. Let's, Let's get, get wild. wild. Let's get wild, dude. Ted, you're, uh... I appreciate your zeal for trying to get all the boxes, but, uh... Ooh. We yeah. gotta go. Yeah, I know. Sorry. We're almost there. I hope so. Look at... How much more level could there possibly be? 80 hours. Yo, 80. these A levels number. are chonky, dude. They are. They, are. they can't get pretty long. Wow. Whoa. Can you get up there? How am I doing? Get that's, up there, huh? that's a Yoshi jump over there for sure. <gasps> like the kind where Yoshi oh. doesn't make it through. Ah, I see. Yeah, oh, I feel boy. like we've oh, made that God. exact same mistake before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even care about the other type of jump. Nobody ever uses that other one. The one that everybody uses is the one where you throw Yoshi in a hole. But the one where you like has an orgasm is very funny to me. Oh, I see how it works now. Oh, look at you. Da, 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 da. Little slappy little dino feet. <laughs> slappy little dino feet. Okay, like that's a, good. Oh, oh boy, no, no I fucked up. Oh no, I fucked up. That was beautiful. Thank oh you. no, I fucked up. Did you say I fucked her? I oh said, no, I fucked her. I said I said fucked up. <laughs> oh, you never want to hear that though. <laughs> like Oh no, I fucked her. Yeah, like you never want to be surprised that you had sex with someone. That's that is like one of the ultimate things that I can't understand. <laughs> Just wake up in the morning. Oh no, I fucked her. And then you sing it. <laughs> and and like, she wakes up. They're like, who? Hello? <laughs> I can definitely say that this has never happened to me. Same. Oh no. Uh, it might have. It might have been. Oh no, I should have fucked her. That's real. You wake up at three in the morning and realize that you, you were an idiot. Yep. 100%. It's hard out there, you know? I feel like we never addressed it, but like an episode or two ago, Ted was trying to tell me that his type is like brown girls, and I just think that's funny. I was too busy, like... Trying to get him to say something inappropriate? Just trying to make him uncomfortable. Yeah. And I never acknowledged, like, that it was kind of funny that he was, like, trying to be like, that's my type. <laughs> yeah. Also, there's, two, there's two funny things in there to me. Oh. Oh no, checkpoint. Oh man, they just want you to keep going. They just want you to. They you just can't just you, end, you can't just end the level anywhere you want in this one. <laughs> ah, no. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got I saw little, that. You got I, saw, I saw this. Indecision. Yep. 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 <laughs> Seems like you have a commitment problem there, Ted. Oh, 100%. Hondo Pasando. I think that's actually not you. Like, you, when it comes to lady, you're trying to commit. That's true. Like, aren't you, like, trying to settle down and shit? Huh, yeah, that that's is another, actually That's true. another type of commitment problem. Okay. Whoop. Nice. Hey. Another checkpoint. That's because Ted's Gen T. He's not millennial. He's a Helsa. I'm he's genteel. Got, he's, got, he's genteel. <laughs> he's not a millennial. He's genteel. Oh, what is... What? I had a jump? That what? was fucked up. Wait, what happened there? I like jumped and it worked. <laughs> yeah. You have a double jump. I right? did. At least it's right here. At least it's right here. No. You don't? Oh, okay. Never mind. That dude. Oh, did you jump off the dino? <laughs> Just like I jumped with the dino. He really wants you to sacrifice that little dinosaur. Dude. Oh my God. Did you just throw that dino in the hole? That's so cool. You should try that. Just kidding. I mean, I can't even try that. So what? Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, okay, man. Oh, all right. Okay, cool. I got it. This has got to be the end, right? There it is. Look yeah. at that. Oh, look out for the fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks, buddy. Oh, shit. Yeah, that would have burned me. Thanks. Huh. I watched on YouTube the other day. Oh, that was instant. I thought yeah, they were yeah, there. Yeah, I thought so, too. I watched a Sinbad stand-up special. Oh, wow. When was I it from? I think one that I used to watch when I was really young. It was from 1993. Oh, man. Hearing him make all those references is like, wow, this is... Yeah, this stuff was real topical, wasn't it? What was he talking about? Nintendo? <sighs> he mentioned a Sega Genesis at one point. Yep. He was talking about Rodney King. Okay. He was. Oh, I think I've seen him do that bit. Or, Probably. He, said, or he does a Rodney King bit in a movie. Huh. 
Oh. It might be Good Burger. Did you mention Rodney King and Good Burger? I swear to God that there's... Oh, you know what? It's not Good Burger. It's fucking Christmas. Oh, sure. Sure. Jingle all the way. Yeah. That was actually the working title. It's fucking Christmas. <laughs> Here's to you, Dad. <laughs> there's some sick people out there. So he made... He referenced Sega Genesis. He referenced Rodney King. Uh... Bugles. A lot of it was honestly pre... 90s. A lot of his references were actually to the 70s because the, the whole conceit of his show was like, He's old. Remember how things used to be back then? Yeah. So it was really like a 70s show. But uh, yeah, he made some other 90s references. Like he mentioned like a bunch of songs that I used to listen to back then because my mom had it on the car. I think he mentioned All I Want to Do is Zoom, a Zoom, Zoom. Oh, man. You mentioned Can't Touch the, you know, like just the the, the classics, the <laughs> usual suspects. Well, the, the, the hot shit of that time, you yeah, know? Exactly. Yeah. Love that. Well, Ted. What a wonderful journey it's been. How sweaty yeah. are your palms? They're very sweaty and gross That's and okay. grimy. All right. All right. Well, we're going to have to wipe that. That's visceral. Down. All uh -huh. right. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back with more Crash in two shakes. Wait, will you go to the next level? Is this the boss? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys for Is your it patience. Is it the boss? Yeah. I feel like it's got So you're going to like do the boss next yeah. time, huh? Sure. Well, you thought you would just do the whole world, but not the boss? Just no, I just, I just don't want to overstep my bounds. Too late. Okay. There's no boundaries here. Ah. This is Berm this is Bermugula. You give the mouse a cookie. Yeah, that's, that's real. Yeah, that's true. If you get a Ted, if you give a Ted a controller, if you, if you give a Ted a controller, if you give a Ted an ogre, <laughs> he will want to battle. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Bye. guys. Bye.